What's going on, everybody? Just got back from Louisville, and no, it was not a card show. Had a gentleman reach out to me today about looking at a collection. Um, we went through it, and I told him a lot of stuff. I, he would be better off sending DC Sports, explain the process, because he would get more than I'd be able to offer onto it. And it just made more sense onto it to, by him doing it that way. Uh, left here, got up there about 5 p.m., and I think I left there around 7.30-ish. So about two and a half hours. Sat down, looked up everything we could on to define the values of the cards, which is fair to both the buyer and seller, of course, because you never want to undershoot yourself or overshoot yourself on the prices. And it kind of brings that comfort zone to both, you know, the buyer and seller onto it. So I did appreciate him, you know, putting up with me for about two and a half hours, going through, showing me stuff. Some really, really cool pieces here. I uh, guess you guys are ready to see it, right? Instead of me blabbing on and on and on. All right. And Wildcat, there is football somewhere in here. Not a lot, but we did get some football. So Frank Thomas relic, another Frank Thomas relic. A lot of this stuff here, I'm going to look at grading, like, uh, um, what's his name? Matherin, Benedict Matherin. Keegan Murray. I think this is the variation court side. I don't know. I'd have to look at them. I'm just guessing a lot of this. Shaden Sharp. Shaden Sharp Monopoly. These are out of 500. A cool Kareem Abdul Jabbar uh, relic. Anthony Davis stained glass. You guys remember the last one I had 10. This is going to be close when I looked at, but figured what the heck. Uh, Anthony Davis, this is a gold sparkle. So if you guys remember the white sparkle packs that they came out with, this is the gold. They're numbered out of 24. Stuff sells crazy in price. Another Monopoly LeBron. You guys know it? It's out of 500. Just take a guess. Sales are around $50 on this card. 50 Couldn't believe it. A bunch of Magic Johnsons. I know they're OC, but pretty cool for 81 tops. And then there's a couple of super actions. I think there's four or five. Now we're getting some Kobe's. The hardwood prospects. This is probably going to be graded. Uh, piece of the floor. Coast to coast. One, two, three, four, five events. They're going to like 20 bucks um, raw. If you could 10 one of these, I believe they're around 200. Kobe tops rookie. These still do around 20 to 30 bucks. Um, but so it's not something I'm going to grade. Another Kobe rookie. This was cool. I haven't found one sold, but Golden Threads had Kobe and Shaq on too. It's numbered out, I think, two ninety nine. dollars Thought it was. Yeah, it's way at the top there. Oop. All right. I was adding stuff up. Whatever I was there. Okay, so Michael Jordan, Fleer Metal. Clear metal die cut, a cut above. This is the newer ones. Pretty cool piece. Can't be confused with the vintage, so. Uh, member's Choice, Jordan. Always been a fan of this one. A, I think this is called like Hall. Wait, I can't remember. It's on the back. History class, insert number one. Out uh, 2300 game action. This has, if I could show it right, has like a little bit of a hologram in there, but it's hard to see. And then another hologram of them. So some Jordans. Yes, I know. I have too many Jordans. We just add some more to it. Alrighty. We're still, we'll see, you'll see some of the bigger stuff here shortly. Well, some of that stuff wasn't cheap either. A studio. I think this was 95 credit card. Of Griffey. Not a real credit card, but you guys know what I mean. A Iverson... Basically, on here, press pass rookie, another Kobe rookie from Fleer Ultra. This kind of has like the indentions in the card, triple double Jordan hologram. Some Lamar Jackson stuff because we are in Louisville and everybody always asks me for Lamar, so now I got some Lamar pieces. The Aaron Fox, this is the T Mall Asian Gold Wave. I found where Trey Young was doing like 11.50, so what the heck, we might just look at it to grade. The Kobe O'Neal Garnett, 
upper deck. I believe this was our choice, if I recall right. Hey, football. Look, look, look. Wildcat football. Ed Reed had a 49 NT, the bust. No, just so you know, I'm not saying Ed Reed is a bust. It's a bust picture. This is a cool card of Jordan. Bowman's best. It has him, Mercer. And then in the back, you got uh, Marbury, or, yeah, Marbury and um, Peyton on to it. Giannis die cut. I think it was out of 49. No, 99. This is cool. I've never seen one before. Lamar Jackson score intergalactic. It is the case hit. How many people remember that's jam? Allen Iverson. Surprised on prices on this. Around 140-ish. Looked in really good shape. Wildcat. This is on the case, just so you know, Wildcat, because otherwise it's clean. Devin Hester Bowman Sterling rookie go around 100 ish. Pretty cool. Another Lamar Jackson. Last one did 80. You guys probably want to see the patch, so I'll pull it out. And that last Lamar is actually either game worn or player worn. Devo Samuel, NT Booklet, Rookie Auto. We'll get into graded stuff here in a minute. Chad Johnson, Franchise Legends, Purple Power Auto. They only do like, I think it was somewhere between 10 and 15. Jamar Chase, these were all over the place in price. Uh, 75 Collegiate. Brandon Ingram, this year's uh, in-flight, blue out of 49 auto. Onyx, Giannis, do around 150-ish on these. Heck, cheap Giannis auto. Alrighty. Oh, what was that? Something was buzzing on me back there, and I hit the camera. Sorry, guys. Couldn't find one graded, but it, Prism, second year, Jamar Chase, Brilliance, Blue Ice, PSA 10. Pretty cool piece out of 99. Basketball time, Tops Generations, Kobe, PSA 9. These were the Redemption Specials, 9 and 10, City Heights, LeBron James. I think 50 and like 110, 120 on these. Pretty cool when you look at these, they're kind of like wave action onto it. Another baseball. These do around 80. Studio uh, gold credit card, I'm calling it. Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10. Uh, Kareem Abdul Jabari 1 tops. PSA 7. It's like 25 bucks or so. Ja Morant. Bang, bang. Oops, rookie. I think these were doing like 20 to 30. I'm just guessing because I took all the stickers off. This here, I forgot this was his rookie whenever I looked it up. But it's the uh, Flare Showcase Class of 96 and the PSA 8. Very expensive card in 8. Like 175-ish. Another rookie year is Z-Force Kobe PSA 9. I don't remember the prices on some of these. This was cool for nostalgia. Anybody like older? Brian Crosby, if you're looking at this. 8, remember these? The Boxing Muhammad Ali's. Had to pick one up. PSA 9. They do like 15 to 18 bucks. A Shaden Sharp Red Dice PSA 9. I think these were around 50. And I think this one was around 65, 70 ish. Uh, Monopoly Black Shaden Sharp PSA 10. D. Aaron Fox PSA 10 Pink Ice. Maddie Johnson Finest with Coating. These are all like the last two are like 25 bucks or so. Um, with the coating PSA 9. And then his. 95 flare PSA 9. So that's everything, guys. Um, pretty cool, though. A lot of stuff in there to look at to be graded. Um, get some tens back. Definitely some bigger money can be made, but it's taking the time investing and waiting on it. I'm trying to think here. That's something else I was going to say. It's just like completely gone out of me. Just really tired from the last probably week or so of uh, just. 
doing way too much. But pretty cool on the pickup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments as always. Or you can hit me up by phone or whatever. However communication method you have on me. But really, really happy with it. Um, left me a good bit of room to work with stuff onto it with whether it was grading or for resale value and everything like that. That's something you always want whenever somebody uh, is going to do like a bigger deal with you to leave you a little bit of meat on the bones onto it all. Um, and, you know, really good experience. Got to see a lot of other cards. No, I didn't take a camera in somebody else's house and tape it and show everything. I just, I'm not that type of person. There were some really cool other pieces onto it that were in there. Uh, a lot of serial number cards, a lot of 90s stuff. There were a lot more Kobe's and Jordans and stuff in there. I just picked out a few that I kind of liked offhand. Um, some that I might want to grade, you know, possibility of getting a 10 on some of that stuff could, you know, make the deal even more sweet when it comes down to and comes back. But other than that, guys, that is it for me. Uh, I don't have any more card shows to go to till the following Saturday. Uh, see what we do up in the uh, J and J All Star Card Show. Just going as a buyer. I think that might be the only other show. I don't think I'm going to hit Lexington at all. End of the month. I did get one card in the mail today, so I'm just going to share that now with you guys if I could find it. Might be on this side here. Way too much stuff laying on the desk right now. Yeah, it's bottom one. In it to win it, Tom Brady. Let's end it with a football for Wildcat. Number out 25, PSA 10. I think these are around 150 to 170. I could be wrong. But still a cool little piece. Tom Brady, Bucks uniform, Super Bowl year. All that good, fun stuff. But yeah. Bought a lot, as you guys have seen over the last couple days so now it's you know time to get back into it and get some stuff sold i will tell you guys ebay was nuts yesterday on um football day i sold a brock purdy sgc 10 for a good chunk of money just a regular base i had the pollard auto sold the mccaffrey auto out of 23 sold from uh, 18 vip Tyree Kill, Prism Green from, I think it was 17 PSA 10, but a lot of football moved yesterday. A lot. So, you can tell football season's in. People are going to try to ride them waves, get them steals and deals of stuff sitting out there now. Uh, but that's really about it. I don't think I have much more um, that I want to really put out in this video. Like I said, just been a long days here last probably about a week, and my body needs to reset. Other than that, you guys stay safe out there. Maybe we'll come live uh, one day this weekend. We'll see how it rolls and just do a little chit-chat, talk about whatnot and how people like to do cocaine live <laughs> on there and stuff. I was going to send that over to Sports Card Radio, but... I'm sure they probably already have something out on it by now. But that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think on the collection. I'm out. See ya.